Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Data Science and AI in Africa. Today we have Mr. Getnet Asepa from Ethiopia, who is the CEO and founder of ICOG Labs, which is an AI and robotic solutions um, organization in um, East Africa and based in Ethiopia. So welcome Mr. Getnet. Welcome everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I want to know about your journey into data science or AI, um, for you specifically it's AI. Um, so I saw that you studied um, computer science, I think. Uh, maybe you can start from your um, tertiary education studies and how you went on to start um, iPod Labs. Um, so my BA degrees in computer engineering, I graduated from one of the 41 universities in, in Ethiopia. It's, it's a government university. Uh, basically, I graduated in computer engineering. There is no, uh, by that time, there is no artificial intelligence or related field of study. Uh, I am, I was like very passionate about digital technology, computers, electronics when I was uh, high school. That interest and that passion pushed me to to think for art and to to explore more in, in computer science and engineering. Then I completed uh, computer engineering from from the universities. Uh, then after I start my own explorations and research about majorly um, more interested on future technology, emerging technology like artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, big data, bioinformatics, as well as in um, 3D printing. Then I just keep on exploring, learning, understanding uh, about those tools. And I start networking with like-minded people across the world. Then. Uh, I traveled also a lot of seminars, workshops across the world. Then by 2013, I started ICOG Labs with the vision of building artificial general intelligence systems in, in Ethiopia or um, the birthplace of Homo sapiens, that's Ethiopia. So then, then after ICOG Labs starts working, starting from 2013. So this is uh, my background and introduction about like uh, Labs, how we started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's really nice. Um, so when it came to iCog Labs, you said there was not much um, artificial intelligence um, work or courses when you were doing your undergraduate studies. So how how does that like um, did that affect you when you were starting an AI related organization? How was the Fields then when you started Icog Labs. Uh, basically, it's not really affected my my activities, but generally, if there was uh, some background knowledge for me, then the process of creating companies and also okay. process of teaching and creating new generations talent. Um. So in general, most of the people who ended up, okay, in general, most of the people who are working at ICOG Labs or who started working, they were people who trained on their own um, using just um, the internet and other sources. And then do you continue helping them train in their field or it's just a, a matter of they learn as they do their work? So our recruitment methodology, we, we just magnetize or attract the best talent in the country as possible with all the regions and with all people that possibly relocate themselves into the capital cities. So we have like procurement procedures. The background can be from anywhere, from mathematics, PhD, master's degree. It can be also an high school student, hobbyist and self-learner. Anyone can apply to join ICOG Labs, an estimated of every six months at 5,000 people are applying to join ICO clubs. So after those 5,000 applicants, we have like a CV and GitHub filtration process. So 
we give our time and filter the best CV available CV uh, based on the available resources that they provided, like Link, their GitHub, their CV, their motivations. We will filter down up to 100 or 200 candidates. Then we will go through the physical interviews and questionnaires and stuff like that. Then we will choose uh, the, the top uh, to top 55 up to 100 talent. Uh, yeah, so in this bootcamp process, we have in-house training. And also we will give them curriculum. They themselves have to go through those curriculums and study. And every uh, month, we will have like uh, interview process and also and then progress progress checkup based on their progress, whichever fits for our requirement, then we will start paying them. Whichever doesn't satisfy our requirement, we will uh, consult him, give him guidance, and he will continue studying and, uh, and uh, learning by himself. Okay, um, that's really great. So um, are there any uh, training schools in Ethiopia that offer machine learning or AI related courses? Uh, there are some organizations who tried to teach um, such type of courses. Uh, University also is trying to offer some certificate and private institutes also are trying to give some machine learning AI courses, but uh, yeah, but in general it's good if we have like more talent on, on, on the education sectors. Okay, um, so what advice would you give to um, someone who is based in Ethiopia, who is interested in um, starting their journey into AI or machine learning? Um, I think the first uh, criteria that has to achieve is uh, learning about system and learning about basic computers, how it works, how competition works and mathematics. So then, after learning the basic uh, computer maths, computational system, how it works in computers, how it works, then I think there are many resources available uh, online, starting from Coursera and you can just Google and the machine learning the resources. You'll find plenty of plenty of resources. And so I invite them to to deep dive and study and solve their community problems as possible. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much um, for making time for this.